Hello learners, I am Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkel in the year 2020. Currently, I am a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this given question. Here, we are given that x equal to 5 by 2 factorial into 3 plus 5 into 7 by 3 factorial 3 square plus 5 into 9 by 4 factorial 3 power 3. Like this, we are given. Okay. Now, we need to find out x square plus 4x. Fine. Now, how are we going to do it? Okay. Shala. First thing, if you'll see, there are all plus in this pattern. And whenever we have this pattern kind of questions, first thing we have to get it into a pattern which we want. Something like what we want. Now, what is that? I'm going to try to convert this. I'm going to convert this, uh, this thing on the RHS to something like this. 1 plus p by 1 factorial into x by q plus p into b plus q by 2 factorial into x by q square plus. Now, what does this mean? Listen carefully, guys. Listen carefully. I don't want you to mug up such questions. Okay, just understand it. It's easy. Okay. Let us analyze. Let us analyze the pattern below. If you see here, 2 factorial is there in the denominator. And I have two terms in the numerator, p and p plus q and x by q power 2 I have. So you see it is like a nice package in, in 2 factorial whenever we have to here I have 2 factorial in the numerator I have 2 terms p and p plus q and the power of x by q is 2. Now analyze this 3 factorial is there. Now fine. When I have 3 factorial I have 3 terms in the numerator p p plus q and p plus 2q. Fine. And uh, x by q power is 3. Now, let me try to apply this logic here. If you see here, here I have 2 factorial. But in the numerator, how many terms I have? Just one term. So, I need 2 terms. How I am going to get it, I will tell you. Likewise, if you see here, I have 3 factor. And also one more thing, if you see. Here I have 3 power 1. But 2 factorial means power should be 2, right? Now, how to do that? I will tell you. Likewise, the 3 factorial is there. There should be 3 terms in the numerator. Uh, five, uh, 5, but only 2 terms are there. 5 and 7. And 3 to the power 2 is there. Power 3 should be there. Now, how I am going to do it? See. This is what we are given. Fine. Now, what I am going to do is, listen carefully. Here, I need 3 square, okay, in the denominator. I told you, right, power of 3 should be 2. Like, x by q power, like, I should I explain it. So, for that, multiply and divide by 3 in, in the first term and multiply and divide by 3 in the second term also. Multiply and divide by 3 in the third term also. Like this, it goes on. Fine. Now, what we will get? See, by doing this one step, like if you see 3 and 3, 3 and 3, 3 and 3. Fine. Now, what will I get by doing this? See, what is 3 into 3? Three? 3 square. And 3 square into 3 is 3 cube. And 3 cube into 3 is 3 power 4. Fine, this is there. Okay. Fine. Now, if you see our pattern, now see our pattern. This is somewhat matching. Okay, see. Now, 2 factorial is there. There are 2 terms in the numerator, 3, 5. And 3 to the power 2 is there. So, this package has come, the one which I want. Fine. And if you see 3 factorial, the 3, 5, 7, 3 terms are there in the numerator. And 3 to the power 3. 3 power is also 3. Fine. Next. <clears throat> 4 factorial. 4 terms. And 3 power 4. Fine. This is one thing I wanted to get. That I got. But if you see one more thing you have to see. In our, pa our pattern is starting with 1. Our pattern is starting with 1. Listen carefully guys. Our pattern is starting with 1. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's what will happen. See. Our pattern is starting with 1. But if you see here, in our pattern, we do not have 1. That is one thing missing. Next. And also, if you see here, our pattern, there is 2 factorial, 3 factorial, 4 factorial. There is no 1 factorial term. There is no 1 factorial term. Fine. So, I need 1 in the beginning and I need 1 factorial term. That means, see, basically p by 1 factorial into x by q. Like this one is missing and 1 is missing. Fine. Now, let us analyze the pattern. Now, if you see, if you see, like let's go from right to left. If you see, if 
from this term to this term if you will cut off p plus 2q uh, and 1 3 is gone 1 power is reduced i'll get the second term now v plus q is cut i'll get the first term i mean then reduce 2 to 1 factorial and x by q so you see right the pattern is there likewise see listen carefully here i have 3 5 3 5 7 3 5 7 9 now let's go ulta 9 if you remove 9 and 1 3 and reduce 1 factorial you will get this likewise 7 if you remove and 3 power 2 you make it and 2 factorial you make it you get this term likewise now remove the 5 and 3 power 1 you make it and 1 factorial so that is the another term and 1 will also be there so add 1 plus 3 by 1 factorial into 3 on both sides now if you'll add this see i'm telling the logic how i got this 3 see 1 1 should be there in the because the pattern will start with 1 but how i got this term 3 by 1 factorial into 3 how i got it is c i told it cut off 5 1 factorial means only one term should be there in the numerator so cut off 5 and 3 power also reduce 3 power 1 and then 3 by 3 and 1 factorial so 1 plus 1 factor 3 by 1 factorial into 3 I hope it's clear guys the logic I hope I did not confuse you if you observe the pattern you'll understand why I did, why I'm doing this fine now if you see basic analysis one our our pattern is starting with one okay this series it's starting with one and in one factorial one term in the numerator and uh, denominator to the power one three means three power one like now two factorial two terms in the numerator and three power two now one more thing which you need to observe in our pattern is it is like x by q and x by q square x by q cube now i want something by something whole to the power so for that for that see this i wrote it as 3 by 1 factorial into 1 by 3 3 into 5 by 2 factorial into 1 by 3 whole square 3 square i can write it as 1 by 3 whole square it is totally okay because it's there in the denominator and 1 by 3 cube is 1 by 3 whole cube. 1 by 3 power 4 is 1 by 3 power 4. Plus, see guys, this step was becoming a bit big. So, I just put a plus here and I continue writing. This is totally okay. Whenever you feel one, the step will not fit in one line, you can just put a plus like this at the bottom, plus or minus, whatever is needed and then write. It is totally okay. Now, if you see, just simplify the term on the LHS. Now, 3, 3 cancel, 1 factorial is 1. So, 1 by 1 factorial is 1 by 1, which is 1. So, x plus 1 plus 1 equal to this. You don't do anything because it is needed for our pattern. Because it is needed for our pattern. Fine. Chalo. Now, what I'd get is ultimately see this pattern, guys. It is perfect now. x plus 1 plus 1 means x plus 2 will be equal to this. Now, this is perfectly matching. This one is perfectly matching with this 1 plus p by 1 factor into x by q. The one which I showed you in the beginning. That is what it is. Fine. Now let us start comparing. Now one is matching. Series is starting with one. And now if you see p by one factorial, one factorial in the one factorial term, like you know, there is p in the numerator. Here I have three. So basically, p is equal to three. P is equal to three. Fine. Next, one more thing to analyze is p plus q will be nothing but 5 because it is p into p plus q so 3 into 5 means p into p plus, p plus q is 5 next and how to get our x by q if you see uh, x by q would be nothing but 1 by 3 because 1 by 3 1 by 3 square 1 by 3 cube x by q x by q square and x by q whole cube fine okay chalo. now here p is equal to 3 as i just mentioned p plus q is 5 and uh, x by q is 1 by 3 now my target is to get p q i mean q p q x fine okay see one thing you guys need to remember guys this x and this x is different this is from series fine and this is what they gave fine i hope it's clear this is the basic formula which i'm using i mean basic expansion fine p is 3 so put it here so 3 plus q will be 2 and q will be i'm sorry p plus q i'm sorry 3 plus q will be 5 
so q will be 5 minus 3 which is nothing but 2 now q is 2 put q equal to 2 here x by 2 equal to 1 by 3 that means x will be 2 by 3 fine so i got my p i got my q i got my x okay shallo now next what this entire series okay this infinite series is nothing but equal to this is nothing but equal to 1 minus x whole to the power minus p by q this entire thing is equal to 1 minus x whole power minus p by q and i got p q and x so if you see my x plus 2 equal to this big series right this entire big series this entire big series is nothing but equal to 1 minus x whole power minus p by q where x is this p is this fine uh, where p is 3 q is 2 and x is 2 by 3 i hope uh, things are clear fine this x and this x are different once again i'm telling this is like the pattern kind of x okay which i used next x is 2 by 3 and p is 3 so minus 3 by 2 fine now basic simplification guys from here nothing much difficult is there just take lcm 3 minus 2 by 3 and 1 by 3 whole power minus 3 by 2 fine see a by b whole power minus m okay a by b whole power minus m is nothing but b by a whole power m that means 1 by 3 whole power minus 3 by 2 is nothing but 3 by 1 power 3 by 2 a by b power minus m is b by a power m so here i have negative right in my power so numerator and denominator do ulta like 3 by 1 1 by 3 will become 3 by 1 power 3 by 2 fine the formula which i mean the reason why it is possible 3 by 1 is nothing but 3. So, 3 power 3 by 2. Now, listen. Listen, guys. This 3 by 2, I am going to write it as 1 plus 1 by 2. 3 power 1 plus 1 by 2. Okay. Fine. And uh, there is a property in uh, law of exponents. Uh, the one of the laws of exponents is a power m plus n is nothing but a power m into a power n fine so 3 power 1 plus 1 by 2 is nothing but 3 power 1 into 3 power 1 by 2 that means 3 into 3 power 1 by 2 fine 3 power 1 by 2 is root 3 now what you can now they are asking us to find out the value of x square plus 4x that means something of square so just square on both sides just square on both sides x plus 2 whole square is 3 root 3 whole square fine now a square plus b square plus 2ab is nothing but equal to 3 square 3 square into root 3 square fine next x square plus 4 plus 4x is nothing but equal to 3 square is 9 and root 3 square is 9 i'm sorry root 3 square is 3 so 9 into 3 is 27 so x square plus 4x is they are asking us to find out the value of x square plus 4x this plus 4 send it to the rhs so x square plus 4x is 27 minus 4 x square plus 4x is 23 okay that's it this is what they asked us to find and we are done one thing i wanted to share like if you are interested you can listen to this often times we do not have a goal at all meer anochana ne ent sir ila yaptunaru enti ila yaptunaru na degara etuvanti goal leda naaku 11th class lo manchi marks tachukovalanu undi 12th class lo manchi marks tachukovalanu undi m side fine 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 that is all okay but actually, you know, our goal should be very well defined. Our goal should be well defined. Until then, just then, manaku M set lo manchi marks achch kalaan ko tan mani manchi marks and ten ta. What do you mean by good marks? That should be a clear number. Now, what do you mean? See, now at the beginning of the second year, you will feel I will do good in second year and get good marks. What does that getting good marks mean? You have to clearly make it, make a well-defined goal. Make a well-defined goal. Now, what does it mean? Let's say at the beginning of the year, you decide I want to get 60 out of 75 in max 2. That is a clear goal. Now, for this, what you have to do, I have to study these many chapters. Now, uh, now throughout the year, in 10 months, I have to study like, uh, let's say 10 chapters or something. So, every month, I have to complete a chapter. And... Now that is one goal. Now you see, in each, you have a goal for the year to get 60 marks in mathematics. Now you your goal has read. Now there are 10 chapters in just a 2A, mathematics 2A. 
let's say there are 10 chapters now every month you have to cover a chapter now next you are you have got your monthly goal now you have to make a weekly goal also now there are in this chapter there are three exercises that means in first week i'll complete first exercise in the se in the second and third week i'll complete my second exercise in the fourth week i'll do my third exercise you're getting right now monthly goal has become weekly goal now weekly goal should become daily goal like in this first exercise there are three sections first section i'll do it first to two days second section i'll do next to two days and third section i'll do next you see once you have this long goal then keep reducing and bring it to day to day activities that is when you can say you have clearly defined your goal otherwise you will just say i want to get some marks good marks no that's what i mean get, have a clear cut goal having a clear and once you have a clear cut goal like this you will be able to go with high speed because you know what you have to do a person with clarity is different from others once you have clarity okay my daily target is this in this week this is my weekly target this is my monthly target this is my three months target this is my six months this is my nine months then trust me guys see the problem is not that we do not achieve our goals the problem is that we do not make our goals and ante manu lakshyanni sadhinchalekapodanga lakshyamne sarigga pettukoledu fine so it's my sincere request guys have good goals okay and set it nicely and convert it to executable timelines <sighs> fine anyways uh, thank you in case you like this video please hit the like button it will encourage me to make many more of such videos and if this is your first time coming across to my channel please do subscribe to it thank you